Roblox has a lot of different racing games. I've played quite a lot of them ever since I made my first account. When I started playing, there weren't many games to choose from. The only games I remember were Grand Blocks Auto and Ultimate Driving, back when it still had blocky cars. Vehicle Simulator was a thing, but you still had to pay 25 Robux to get it, and I didn't have any Robux back then. Nowadays, when you want to play a racing game, there's lots of them to choose from, although some are better than others. One of my favorite racing games right now is Driving Simulator, and that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. I made one video on the game before this one, but in the meanwhile, I played the game quite a bit, so now I can make this review. The first thing you'll notice when you go and drive a car in this game is that the chassis is really arcadey. Cars can take corners at some unbelievable speeds, they can literally float like boats, and they drive like boats, jumps are natural, etc. But that's what makes the game so fun. There's 8 different car types in this game. Cruisers, tuners, off-roaders, vintage cars, luxury cars, sports cars, supercars, and hypercars. In total, you have approximately 60 cars to choose from. I tried counting them all, but some are repeated in different car classes. All cars in the game come equipped with nitrous. Sadly, also all of them have the same generic engine noise, but that doesn't bother me too much, since games like Ultimate Driving also have the same engine sound for most cars. One thing that is kind of annoying is that the game has some rip-off car models, and some don't even make sense. Cars like the Lamborghini Centenario and Lamborghini Sion have fake models, but cars like the Aventador Huracan and Countach don't, even though they're from the same car brand. Other cars with rip-off models are the Lycan Hypersport, Aston Martin Vulcan, Ferrari 488, Toyota Supra, Audi TT, Volkswagen Golf, and Volkswagen Bus. Some cars with fake models that I forgot to bring up are the Hummer H1 and the Toyota AE86. Now, let's talk about the map. The map in this game is decently sized, it's not even close to being the biggest, but it's got some really good variety. All the way at the bottom is a bit of a dock area, not massive, but it's fun to play around in. Above the docks is a city which has a lot of different things to do in. You can do the races, which I'll talk about later on in the video. There's a railway which doesn't have a point, but it adds some realism to the city and it's cool to look at. Or you can just mess around and drive around the streets, have fun in the city. You can do anything. Right above the city is a dam, nothing too interesting, but it's cool to drive around since it's got a really really slanted wall. If you continue going north, you'll get into the hills. Not many people drive around in that area because there's not many things to do there, but you can drive around the twists and turns. You also have some cool little things over there like Area 52, which is an obvious ripoff of Area 51, but it's got a little quarter mile drag strip which is pretty fun to race on. Then there's the highway, the most popular thing in most racing games on Roblox. This game's highway goes pretty much around the whole map. It's got a lot of straights but there's also some corners and it's not completely flat. If you're going to reach the top speed of your car, it's probably gonna be on this part of the highway, right here. And now the most popular thing in this game, races. There's 12 races in this game, Northern Rally, a race that goes around all the twisty roads in the hills, Area 52 quarter mile, just a quarter mile drag strip at Area 52, Around the World, it's literally a race around the highway and it's the second most popular race in the game, Wall of Death, this one's unique, it's multiple laps around a circular wall inside of a building. Frenzy Race. I never actually did this one since nobody ever races in it. Into the Mountains. It's the same as Northern Rally but it's in the reverse. Midtown Race. As the name says, it goes around the middle of the city. City Roundabout. Two laps around the city. Madness City Race. This race just goes around stunts and other crazy things in the city. Coastline Cruise. A race down the coast at the bottom of the map. Dock Quarter Mile. A quarter mile drag race at the docks. And the most popular race of them all, Downtown Race. This race is right at the endgame spawn, which makes it so popular. It takes under a minute to complete once you get a car that's fast enough. It really isn't the most enjoyable, but since it's at spawn, everyone plays it. 
Making money in this game is different than in other games. In games like Ultimate Driving and Vehicle Simulator, driving down the highway is the fastest way to make money. But not in Driving Simulator. Doing races makes you the most money. The more players, the more money you earn per race. I like that you have to do races to make the most money in this game. Instead of just mindlessly driving down the highway, you actually have to focus on your driving. Mindless driving down the highway is something that I did a lot in games like Ultimate Driving, like seriously a lot. The graphics in this game aren't really the best, but they're unique and they're still really nice to look at. And last but not least, the community. It's kinda weird, most players aren't even English speaking, so whenever you enter a game you'll probably just see this. But besides that, it's not bad. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's the first time I ever put a script into my video and it really took a lot of time to make this one. So please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one if you enjoyed it. That's all I had to say and I'll see you in the next one.